to cover that roof. I'm in Palos Verdes Estates, California, and we're doing an MCA Designer Select two-piece tile roof. But before we can do the tile roof, we gotta install the gutters and get the edge metal installed. As you can see, we got our gutter machine over here. It's making a six inch half round baked on enamel gutter, which is awesome. And now we got it spitting out the machine. Let's get a closer look. So as you see, as you can see, we got our little holders over here that help position the gutter. Want to get a measurement on that, make sure we're not wasting any material, taking our mark. You always want to mark out a teeny bit more than what the gutter, the actual length is, because we have to make our special cuts to fit the 45 or to fit the angle. So now that we got that mark, So these are some of the gutters that we've already pre-cut. It's working out pretty nice. So on this roof, we're gonna be using seamless gutters. So the only place that you're gonna see a seam is on the corner. And that's where we do our special 45 degree miter cut. And it takes a lot of skill and technique to get these gutters together. But let's get to some other things. We'll get a closer look and see how the gutters are going up and how they're being installed. And we'll catch up to you in a bit when we get something more exciting to show you. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. We're in Palos Verdes Estates and we're installing some half round gutters. Now they're approximately uh, six inches round in width at the top and they really look good with the two-piece Spanish tile. They just go together. The round shape of the gutter and the round shape of the uh, Spanish tile really fit well together and we love the look. Let's get a closer look and see what these guys are doing right now. Right now they're working on the cornered cut portion of it, connecting the gutters. We have uh, seamless gutters which are making the roof look really good so far, the whole perimeter. Now we're gonna get ready to lay our tiles afterwards. But first we gotta get that first row of that gutter all set in place. Let's take a look. Come back, cover it roof. Now that we got the lower gutters installed, now we need to put the edge metal on. The edge metal goes underneath the torch paper and goes down inside into the gutter. And it's an awesome connection to have everything the way it fits. Let's get a closer look and see what the guys are doing to make that work. So right here, we're 
we're making a cut on the edge metal. Okay, now that we got that pinned in, we want to put the next piece in. Now, as you can see, we got a little safety device right here, a piece of wood, so the ladder can go up against it so we don't bend the gutter. Definitely don't want to do that, considering that these are brand new.